What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. 2021 Upper Deck Series 2 Hockey. Four box hobby break. Three random teams each. Number nine just sold out. So, 10 total spots. Everybody gets three random teams in the NHL. Remember, no Winnipeg Jets. Oh, I'm sorry. No, not no Winnipeg Jets. Uh, Winnipeg Jets and the Anaheim Ducks are comboed uh, into one team. And again, no veteran common ship. And each box contains, of course, um, six young guns. That's what you're chasing. Kaprizov, Sutzel, a lot of other great players. So there you go. Here's the dice roller. We trip it up your names. And then we combo to the Ducks and Jets to make one spot there. So 30 total spots. Roll it. It's a four and a one. Three. Oh, sorry. Four and a one. Five times. Sorry. Five times. One. Two. Three. Four and five. Four, one, five. Will down at Joseph. Five times. One, two, three, four, five. Five times. Ducks down to the Senators. Will with the Ducks, Jets, as well as the Sabres. Wade with the Islanders and Panthers. Will with the Canadians. Spirit with the Sharks. Joseph with the Capitals. Kyle with the Yotes. Will with the Bruins. Predators. Joseph with the Flames. Kyle with the Oilers. Spirit with the Leafs. Joseph with my Kings. Tom with the Penguins. Nick with the Rangers. Spirit with the Knights. Nick with the Hurricanes. Joseph with the Flyers. Tom with the Stars. Joseph with the uh, sorry Sean with the Wild and Avalanche. Joseph with the Blues. Will with the Wings. Tom with the Blue Jackets, Sean with the Canucks, um, Nick with the Blackhawks, Wade with the Lightning, Kyle with the Devils, and Joseph with the Senators. Anybody want to trade? Give you guys a quick little trade window. Well, baseball is a little different. Baseball, I mean, Tops is the is the licensed uh, company that can produce baseball. So, Bowman, Tops Chrome, you know, Tops Baseball. It's pretty much equivalent. I mean, if it wasn't for like you know that kind of stuff, that's pretty much what it is. And Prism has pretty much been the biggest since it came out in 2012. So it's actually fairly new. So, you know it's Bowman Baseball when we're streaming 24 hours on Bowman Baseball Day. And speaking of Bowman, I think I think Bowman Baseball is coming out later this month. 16th. Gonna be wild. Gonna be wild. This is going to be a wild week of releases too, guys. Tribute, Black Diamond, and Select on Wednesday. And then Contenders Optic Football on Friday. That's if they still have it by then, but... Pretty wild. Alright. Good luck. Alien? <laughs> Are they really coming out with Alien? Trading cards?
I want to say I heard they're coming out with. Did I hear this correctly? Is, is UFC now with Panini too? Prism UFC? Or am I thinking crazy right now? To be honest, man, I have never seen any any alien or predator movies in my life. AJ, we're trying to get this uh, Panini One football done. The only thing that's holding it from breaking is a little random number block. National Treasures needs six, but we also have to sell a filler out. So we're still a little ways to go on that. But this break only needs nine spots straight up. You get a piece of all of those teams in the title in a five box break of Panini One Football. Nice, SKS. What's going on, bro? Yeah. You'll see uh, Museum Collection was really nice. Really? Best horror movies ever. I mean, I've, I've watched like horror movies, you know, kind of scary movie type deals, but not really the craziest fanatics. So I don't know what would be like the best for me. Just whichever ones that got, gave me nightmares, I guess. That's another thing. I don't like pickles. I wish I did. I feel like people enjoy them. I used to know I used to go to Disneyland all the time when I had a when I had my annual pass before COVID happened. Everybody just be eating pickles, you know. It's just it's just I, I, it looks good. I just I've tried pickles before. It just doesn't doesn't taste good to me at least. Bro Bauer. McDavid Beauty Canvas. Felipe. And Calvin Turkov. That is in the UD exclusive Young Guns for the uh, Columbus Blue Jackets going to Tom Judge. Look at that. Nice. UD exclusives are kind of tough to get. You only make 100 and then if you want a little high gloss. Hakan Pa. Yeah, man. People, they, they would sell like pickles at Disneyland. Jack Hughes Dabblers and Blake Wheeler. Bobby and I just don't like pickles in general though. But I wish I did. Alexander Barbanov. For the uh, Leafs. Going to Spiro. Pavel. 
Paying Krebs. That's right, isn't that his reopening? I think to like 10, 15 percent capacity or something like that. I think April 15th or something. I think the only amusement park so far in California that's opened up to its limit capacity has been Six Flags. Mossberry Farm and those guys don't open until like next month to f capacity, but they have like these like food festivals. That's the one thing that Disney and then recently with Knox, they've been having like those kind of like food festivals where you're kind of just walking outdoors and eating some good food. Jalen Chatfield. I have follow. What up, Teapot? Oh shit, man. If I have to wager with you, I'm going to have our other customer, Spiro, that's a big Yotes fan, want to wager as well. Got Yo fans all around me. We got Nico, Nicola. Well, what do you want to wager? What, 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 what are you trying to do? We can discuss it here. Joseph Wool. I mean, I was thinking like a crate or something, Tim. Crate spot, but hey, I'll, I'll, I'll do a 20. <laughs> I'm just joking. Ilya Sorokin. Very nice there for the Islanders. It's all right, AJ. I don't like going out anyways. Keep it locked down. <laughs> yeah, if you want to do 20, that's cool too. Just... If you want. What time do they play tomorrow? I'll be sure to bring my jersey. What kills the Angels? Well, in this game, it was errors in pitching. All right, brother, you got it. Deal.
Well, actually, Tim, I won't be on IG tomorrow. I'll be there on Tuesday, so we might have some crates on Tuesday. Maybe Sean will have some tomorrow, but um, you can pop in over here. I'll be on. I'll be over here tomorrow whenever you want to chat. Guys, the next box. Stuart Skinner. Dylan Coglin. William Carlson. Well, we would probably be going, Tom, but you know what? We're here and it's going to get canceled. I think the spectacular show in June got canceled too, I want to say. But I don't think the National has announced it yet. Ooh. Out of 150, look at that fluorescence. It's like orange. I mean, sorry, like yellow gold. That's pretty nice. Um, but they're going to try to do the, everything in their power to keep it going. But there was rumors saying that it, it's pretty much canceled, but they just don't want to say anything just yet in case something were to change. Schmaltz and Seth Jones. Regular. Yeah, I mean, if the national was held in Texas, never. <laughs> You know, everything's just back to normal over there. They, they, Texas defeated the virus. But I think with other states, it's a little different. Ooh, look at that. Maxime Latunov. That's a young gun clear cut. For the San Jose Sharks. Going to Spiro. Very nice, man. Brandon Crawley. And Mackenzie and Whistle. Canvas for the Hawks going to next Stober. We got Sutor. Hank Krebs. And we got Keandre Miller. That's a nice one right there, too, as well for the Rangers. Go to next over. Tivu Teravainen. Xbox. Yeah, we're actually going to uh, we're going to a, a little show as well. We went to Dallas last month, but it looks like uh, this next month and first week of May we're gonna go to uh, the Miami Card Show. We heard that one is really nice too. So I think we're getting a little booth there to set up and stuff. Maybe do some IG breaks there as well.
Um, I forget what it's called, but it's the first week of May. I think it's May 1st and 2nd. I forget what it's called, though. Who puts it up? Maybe you can just type, type it on Google, like Miami Sports Card Show, and I think it pops up, like, the first, the first, like, two searches. The Dallas Card Show was pretty cool. I mean, they have like 500 tables now. It's like a little mini national. It's pretty strong though. It's it's grown so crazy because like, I think last year December November was the first time it was out. It was like 50 tables and 100 tables, and to 300 tables and to 400 tables and to like 500 tables. So it's like man, it's like slowly just growing to be a massive show. And they put that out like every two months. David Ritchie. Or Rittich, sorry. And these ones, guys, we're just going to evenly split them up, too. Nico. Nicola. Matthias or Matthias Broom for the wings. What a Rex. Brent Burns, Dazzlers, and we got Barbanov. That is a Young Guns UD Canvas. Felipe Maliette. Yustamenko. We got Antoine Roussel of the UD uh, exclusive to 100. This time that's going to go to the Nux and Sean. Alright, guys. Let's finish off the box. We got Darren. That's a nice little floor right there. Philip Grubauer. <laughs> Bell and Byron. We got Timothy Lindgren. William Nylander. Cal Foot. Nils Hoglander. guys All 
All right, last box, guys. Oh, this is actually backwards. Alright guys, so good luck. Brandon Shanahan. Nicholas Milos We got a UD canvas of Tomas Tatar and Dazzler's Shea Weber. Sen. Stevens Dapkos canvas.
Keandre Miller. Another one for the Rangers. And a Sidney Crosby. A little acetate clear cut for the Penguins. Going to Tom Judge. Matisse. Pierre Luc Dubois. We got Ian Mitchell, Young Guns for the Chicago Blackhawks. And there you go, guys. That was the break. So I'll quickly do a little recap for you guys. So here we go. We got some marquee rookies from OPG update. Some Dazzlers. These are all canvases, including some Young Guns canvases. Calfoot, Young Guns. Barbashev. You, uh, sorry, Ant Whistle. And David Udy canvas. Here we go, canvas for the Hawks. Blue Jackets, Devils, Sharks, Devils, Canucks, Rangers, Capitals, Red Rings. Uh, Red Wings, sorry. Blues, Hawks, Rangers, Red Wings, Devils, Oilers, Islanders, Blues, Canucks, Leafs, Ducks, Panthers. Cal Foot over here was a Lightning. And then here's some of the bigger ones here. So no uh, Kaprizov or Sudsel, but add a little uh, clear cut Crosby, Keandre Miller, fluorescent. We got Latunov, clear cut, Keandre Miller. We got Antoine Roussel exclusive. We got a relic of Timothy Lindgren, uh, Jake Evans, and Calvin Turkov to 100 UD Young Guns exclusive. So there you go, guys. These are the last four boxes of the case. If we do have more, it'll be from a fresh case. I'll see you that soon, guys. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.